Come on. Come on. You can do it. Oh! Oh my! No way! It's unbelievable! It's unbelievable! <laughs> I don't think so, mate. Whoa! Recently we reviewed a lot of mini scale RC crawlers and we've noticed some of the comments suggesting that they may be overrated and we're going to try and answer that today as we review the brand new Rock Hobby Fire Horse. Full review, coming up. Welcome back to the channel. In our most recent Mini Crawler RC video, we reviewed the awesome looking FMS Toyota FJ Cruiser. That thing just looks epic. And if you haven't seen that video, make sure you go check it out afterwards. And if you like everything RC, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment below whether or not you've tried Mini Scale RC Crawling yet. The Rock Hobby Firehouse is a 118 scale four wheel drive, completely ready to run Mini RC Crawler that is jam packed full of awesome features. But before we get into those, first let's see what comes in the box. The Rock Hobby Fire Horse comes in this hard foam box, which is great for transportation, chucking in your boot when you're taking your car out or storing in your house. In the box comes the instruction manual, which you should read, a hex tool, lipo battery and charger, your radio, and of course the Rock Hobby Fire Horse. Starting off with the exterior, this truck reminds me a lot of the Arizona, which we did review earlier in the year, except this one has more scale details. This is a hard shell body and it has a fully decorated interior, which is nice. Lots of added extra detail like window wipers, side mirrors, and a snorkel up the side here. It has working headlights and tail lights with lots of different settings and indicators. The wheels are bead locked, there's no insert. They're nice and soft with lots of tread. There's a functioning spare tire on the back. Unfortunately none of the doors open but the bonnet does and that's where you'll find the electrics. If you've got OCD I mean you're gonna freak out man when you lift up that bonnet that cabling that's that's worse than the cable management in my PC but if you can ignore the cable management for a moment here we've got the two-in-one ESC receiver combo you'll see this is where the LiPo battery is stored the on and off switch is hidden away so you need to pull that out to turn it on and off this is also where you'll find your micro side server. And one improvement on this one over the Arizona is the bonnet closes better because there's an extra clip there, whereas the bonnet on the Arizona sometimes wouldn't close properly. And if we look on the bottom, you see it looks like a real car. We've got metal chassis rails, we have solid axles front and rear with lock differentials. The motor is a 50 brushed motor. We have ball bearings throughout and the suspension is not oil filled, it's just sprung and uh, it's a little bit bouncy. Much like all the suspension that comes on these stock mini RC crawlers. And looking at the radio, you've got all your typical trim settings, you've got your servo reverse, you've also got this red panel up here with four switches. This is where you can adjust the ESC settings, so you can put it so it's just forward and reverse, or you can have it so it's got forward, reverse and brake. You've also got a setting there so you can increase the drag brake or turn the drag brake completely off. And I mean, the throttle control on this mini crawler is extremely impressive. I mean. Look at that, you can get this thing going incredibly slow, or you can bump up the speed. I mean, obviously it's not gonna be fast, it's a crawler and a mini crawler at that, but I mean, the throttle control you have at those, that lower end is, yeah, it's pretty impressive. So, if you wanna know more on this RC car, not to worry, we're gonna have a link in the description down below if you're interested. Anyway, that is enough talking, it's time to head to location and see if this thing can perform as good as it looks. Here we are at an epic location in a jungle with the beautiful Amber and, oh, what do you reckon, guys? Look at this thing. That thing's incredibly steep, the camera's not picking it up, but I'd say that's at least maybe 70, maybe 80 degrees. What do you reckon, Amber? Yeah. I think this would be absolutely perfect for that new STX6. Is that Rock Hobby gonna do it? Uh, I hope so, I'm gonna try my best. Start off slow. Guys, before we see if it makes it down level four, first, let's start with something easier, level one, which is this little bridge. Okay. Now, this is a level one. The only reason it's even a level one is because this little lip here, if it gets over this lip, which is just stuck, oh, look at that. It's gonna have no issues whatsoever crossing the bridge. And that's it, man. You gotta start off easy. <laughs> you gotta start off easy with these mini crawlers. That is level Mission one completed. completed. Now this car says it's water resistant, so it's time to add some water into the mix with level two. I'm sure it's gonna have no issues whatsoever. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, nice and slow. Nice and slow. Oh, look at that. Mission Beautiful. Complete. For level three, it's time to add some boulders into the mix to see its climbing capability over the steep slope. Okay, let's see if this can climb. Surely it can do it, surely. Those tires, oh no, oh, oh no, what happened? Stop, Mission stop. Failure. Those tires are looking a little bit caked there. And they got wet, oh the bonnet's popping up too. <laughs> 
a little bit of cooling in. Come on. You see that? There's tyres. They got wet. The mud making them a bit slippery. Oh, we're still oh. in it. Still in it. Come on. Oh. Come on. Oh, no. Come on. Let's go. Let's show you how it's done. Oop. <laughs> Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, no! What? I think it could do it, come on. It's pretty steep, though. It is steeper than it looks. It always is steeper than it looks on camera. Every YouTuber's gonna tell you that. Uh, look different. at it. Oh, no. Right, we're gonna give it a little bit of assistance, just a little bit. <laughs> there we go. Now, come on. Come on. <laughs> come on. I'll show you the drag brake demonstration. So we'll go downhill, so that's when you'll be using your drag brake, I guess. And, uh... Yeah, I'm no professional, I don't really know what I'm doing, but we're gonna go ahead and put, put drag brake on 100%. All right, so what that means is that as soon as I let go of the throttle, it should just stop in place. See that, the wheel stopped? Ah. See the wheel stop there? Oh. Help a bit of control. I was doing all right, coming downhill. See, look, I let go of the throttle, it just straight away stopped. Now, let's say I turn the, I'll turn the drag brake off. Now, when I let go, you see that? Nothing's really hit. There's no difference, okay? <laughs> I'm not really seeing a difference. I'll be honest, I'm not seeing a difference yet. The tires still stop, but it, it is more likely to roll with the drag brake off. But look, the tires are still actually stopping. There's just not enough traction there. It's just sort of sliding a little bit. Look at that. Nice and controlled down with or without drag brake. <laughs> we could do the downhill part well, just can't really do the uphill part on this one. I guess drag brake is also good on uphill too, right? Like if you get up to a point and it's real steep and you want it to just stay still, if you had your drag brake on, I used to stop. But uh, we ain't no crawler professionals here. This side here, we still do have a slight uphill slope, not as steep though. Oh yeah. And it's doing this part piece of cake. See that? And then downhill. <laughs> oh yeah. We're still on level three, but we'll try this slope as well. A little bit less steep, but there's a lot more boulders going on, a lot more rocks. A lot more obstacles that get in the way. So you see, you gotta be uh, smart, I think, when you're doing these, when you're doing crawling. It's all about picking the line, picking the right line, thinking ahead, what's your next step? It's like, it's like I guess it's like a rock climber, right? Basically, When yeah. you're climbing up a cliff face, you don't just look at what's in front of you, you look at what's ahead of you, so you can plan. I guess it's the same with crawling. Oh, look at that. Oh, here we go, look at that. You getting this? Yes, you this? I am. Oh, did well. Set so the reposition to let someone through. That's quite steep, look at that. I don't think it's gonna make it up that part there. Might just be a bit too much. I'm sure a seasoned crawler could do it, Mission but not the rookies. <laughs> I think this course may be more for like a 110 scale crawler, although maybe the SCX34 we we'll have to bring here to see how it does. I think it's time now we head back to level four and see how it does on that down slope of 70 degrees. All right, Amber, let's okay. go for it. I'm gonna try and start off slow. Uh, 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 uh. No, <laughs> the poor fire horse. Amber just pointed out this is the Croc 45, so it must be 45 degrees, maybe not quite 70 or 80, but it's still steep, all right? Let's go. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, <laughs> nearly oh dropped man, the camera. I'm so close. <laughs> I nearly hit it. We good, man. We good. We all good. I'll tell you one thing that I don't really like about this car. That is this cable management, man. I don't care that it's ugly looking. Oh, maybe a little bit. But to get it, like, to actually get the bonnet to actually close properly, every time you switch out a battery, you I'll play around with those wires for like five minutes to get it, the bonnet to close properly. But other than that, it's a pretty cool mini scale RC crawler. And of course, looks all come down to your own personal preference, whether you like the rear one or the Arizona yellow one or the FJ Cruiser. We've got loads of different cool mini crawlers. We're gonna have them all linked in the description below so you can go check them out. And to answer the question, um, mini crawlers overrated? The answer is no. They, these fit into a place different to a 110 scale. 110 scale, some of the courses we had today were definitely more suited for the 110 scale crawling. The cool thing about these are, first off, they're a lot cheaper than your larger scale crawlers. So if you've never crawled before, it's a good way to start the hobby in crawling. And secondly is that they're so small, they're great for indoors as well. So you can just put together your own indoor track in five or 10 minutes with some towels and just some random stuff lying around the lounge and put together a little crawler track and have some fun with your kids. We did that in Hong Kong. Or you can make a, your own little crawler track in your backyard. A one 10 scale crawler track is gonna take quite a lot of space in a backyard, whereas making a little crawler track for one of these things, it's gonna take a lot of space in your backyard. And for people that are really creative, like I like to think that I'm creative and I like to come up and, ma and make things, this really does make me sort of excited to put together a crawler track. And that's what we're gonna be doing in the near future, making a mini 
crawler track. Now, if you don't want to miss any more RC content, make sure you go ahead and you hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out. And if you did enjoy today's video, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a like anyway. Make sure you're staying safe out there on your RC adventures. I'm Joe. I'm Amber. We're the RC Kiwis, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace out.